going through the reverse. India is because there it is uh, the reverse which made this land work. You may be aware of it, huh? The birth of this beautiful motherland is because of the river, right? We all know about it. But now look at the water stress in most of the biggest river in this country. The red is the stress, huh? So you already see that how stressed Kaveri, Indus, Krishna, Narmada, all these uh, rivers are. And how much water we are, uh, money we are pouring in every year, but we are not reaching anywhere. Again, because water management is people management, society management, bottom-up management required. Top-down is not really bringing us anywhere. So we, we, we are not talking about three major things, damming, energy, and extravaganza, which is the virtual water. Huh? Everything we buy has a cost, but our products do not show how much water is there. A kilo of meat is costing much less water than a kilo of chocolate, but we don't talk about it. We do talk about meat, but we don't talk about coffee and chocolate because elites love it. But the fact is, Coffee and chocolate costs more water for a kilo than meat and vegetables. Meat, yes, more than vegetables, of course. But the fact is also that there are more, th more products which are costing more water. Jeans cost more water, a kilo of jeans, a kilo of dress, than a kilo of food. We need to know about them, okay? So uh, the, the thing is, when we talk about environment, and I'm focusing on water here, from drought to drown, it's a manufactured and manipulated problem by the educated elites. And that's the result of the education system. Because water education is incomplete. We need more and more and more gurus to really come forward and talk about water, to teach about water. And this skewed picture I'm not saying drought and uh, flood is not there. It is there. But then why it is there? Drought, very classic example, India is the largest consumer of groundwater in the world. 70% of the world's groundwater is consumed by India alone. And this is shocking. We produce 100, nearly 130 times of food grains Still, more than 60% people are unable to eat. There is some serious problem. Are we producing for export? Or are we producing for our own fellow citizens? We need to think about it, talk about it. Again, a problem of education, incomplete education. And this is why Indic knowledge system becomes very, very crucial for us to talk about it. Because where do we draw references from? That's important. Because when we are not talking about framing the right problem from drought to drown to being exclusive, because exclusive itself is excluding, you know. When we are so concerned about poor people, we should be more concerned about rich people. But are we? An average middle class person in this country consumes 6,000 liters of water every day. 6,000 liters, around 2,500 liters to 6,000 liters of water every day. You may say, oh, I, I drink four glass of water. That's incomplete information. Now, my wish is that my younger generation people, I am not so IT savvy, they come up with some way and tell every product produced in this world that how much water it took then we will be cautious, no, as a society. This is what I am really seeking from high-end education, from premier institutes. Are we telling our brigades, our youths, to really develop these kind of sensitization tools? No, because we belong to that extravaganza group. You know, we want to pretend to be helping the poor, but we need to help ourselves first. We need to reduce our consumption because this is a limited resource of 0.3 percentage. If we can continue to consume more, poor continues to receive less. And as Gandhi said, there is enough for everyone's need, but not for 
some people's greed. In India, we are still receiving much water to really cater to everyone. Of course, we have less per capita as compared to the world because we, uh, we sit with 16% world population and we receive only 4% of world's rain. So yes, if you think like that, it is less. But when you look at in terms of quantity, it is really not less per capita. It's more than enough if we reduce our consumption from 2,500 liters or to 6,000 liters to somewhere which is our fundamental right as per the constitution of this country, we are allowed to consume 135 liters per day. So if we all, let's say, do extravaganza, and even if we can reach somewhere around 500 liters per day as middle class and educated, I think we can really share our share of water with uh, people who are deprived. But then we have to know about it. And that knowing is going to only come through education.